Hey there, and welcome to RAN's Basics Tutorial Series. If you need more information about RAN, you can look up a demo with our team using the link in the description. You can also create a free RAN account and use the templates below to draw along with me as we go through this tutorial. Let's dive in. Welcome to Ryan's tutorial about pages. We're going to learn how to export our drawings into PDF or images, and we're going to review how to use pages on model canvases and paper canvases. Let's get started. And I'm already on uh, a model canvas in my drawing, ready to export um, these millwork details. If I want to place a page on my canvas for a quick export, we can do that from the model canvas. And if we're going to build a more exhaustive presentation, we recommend to do that from a paper canvas. I'm going to demonstrate the two options and we'll start with the just easy fast one. From my model canvas to create a page, I have different places where I can do this from. I can place a page from the bottom toolbar with the page uh, button. I can go ahead and go to the page panel where you'll see that I can add a page and manage my different pages. And from the layer panel is the last place where I can generate a new page. By clicking on the plus button here and adding a page onto my canvas, you see that it generated a page and also it added the page to the layer um, scene tree. So now that I have this page, when I select it, I can find its properties on the right. Uh, I can set my page orientation from here. I can set its format, so the page size, you know, A3, A4, and so on and so forth from here. And I can set the page's scale from down here. So let's maybe do a page at 1 to 50 scale. Another thing to keep in mind about pages is that they can behave uh, like layers in the sense that layers can be um, hidden and unhidden, locked and unlocked, and also set as active. So in that way, anything you draw is uh, assigned to a specific layer. Pages can also act this way. So if I want to draw something directly onto a page, I can set that as um, an active layer. And I can also assign different elements onto a page specifically. So let's take this um, bed block, for example. We can see on the right that it's set on imported block layer. And if I wanted it to be um, hosted on my page, I would change that setting right here. That way, if I uh, hit or unhit this page, locked or unlocked it, you can see that the bed uh, correlates. All right, let's set this back to its original layer to continue our demonstration. So in this case, basically, if you want to quickly export this, you'd select it and go to the um, exporting settings from the page panel. I want to show you first how to make an extensive drunk set, set and then we'll talk more about um, exporting. So let's delete this page for now and go to our paper canvas. All right, I'm heading over to my paper canvas and this is how your paper canvas is going to look like at first. Uh, you're going to have an offer to create a page on the get-go. The idea of a paper canvas is that things here are set at a one-to-one -one scale. It's a way for you to see the presentation you're going to export, the way it's going to be printed out in terms of line weights and such. So you have a page set once you select it. Again, the properties are going to be here and you'll see that it's the actual size of an A4 page. So uh, A4 page is 29.7 centimeter on 21. And this is uh, just a different idea of what we had going on on the model canvas where we were drawing our drawing to one to one and setting the scale to our page itself. The way to add entities onto your page or to present your drawing is by adding a view. So there's way more to say about views and, and canvases, and for that, there's a whole other tutorial. For now, I just want to show you that when you add a view onto your paper canvas, it's going to um, give you this view into the other model, which you can edit, crop. Um, basically, you can override styles, um, layer settings and such to create your exhaustive uh, presentation set. For now, what I want to do is set a quick scale for um, this layout. So we see here that the scale of the view is 1 to 36. Let's maybe make this 1 to 50. Um, we can also crop our view. So by uh, selecting its edge and pressing down the command, I'm just going to crop this view really quickly. Um, let's leave these maybe out and centralize our drawing on this page. All right, the next thing I can do is add on to my page uh, title blocks. So I'm going to jump into the block uh, library. Again, there's another tutorial about, you know, different block libraries and such. For now, I just want to quickly bring in a block title. So I'm going to place that on the canvas 
and let's scale that according to um, our page. So quickly scale this. And there you go. Note that uh, again, if you want to create more pages, you can jump here to the bottom, you'll have the option to go between uh, drawing a custom page to inserting a page in a specific uh, dimension, you can quickly copy your title block, we can use the paper canvas to create a more exhaustive drawing set with pages that includes drawings in different scales. So when I select another view and add that onto my canvas. Uh, what I can do is set the scale, for example, to 1 to 25, or maybe let's even do 1 to 20, and then uh, crop this accordingly. And there you go. I have two pages. One contains all my um, sections and elevations at 1 to 50, and then I have a top view plan at 1 to 20. And I can, you know, create bigger pages and place these on the same views. So for example, if we wanted to add a page and maybe set that at uh, instead A4 or A3, maybe we would be doing like a large A1 sheet, uh, we could add all these drawings just um, on the one sheet. So as you can see here, pages really give you the variety you need to create your documentation set. And let's talk about how you would export those. To export my pages, I'm going to head to the page uh, panel, and this is where I can manage the drawings in my model. So I can rename pages uh, by, you know, this my page or you know the name of this uh, layout. I can set their order, so simply drag and drop them, and this will already automatically um, update their numbering. I can export an individual page by selecting that or deselect them and uh, export them all. Uh, by clicking on this button up here. This will open my uh, exporting manager. I'll get here a preview of the line uh, weight of my pages. So like a magnifying glass helping me see that everything is intact. I can scroll through my pages like you can see here. Um, and then if I see I need to make any changes before I can change them. Once you're happy with your settings, you can go ahead and rename your uh, drawing set. Here is where you can change between PNG and PDFs. Note that you can adjust the file size. So if you want it to be, you know, lightweight or heavy, this is where you can change it and select a range of pages. So either a few of them or some. Once you did that, you can click on exports and basically your presentation is going to be saved on your desktop. You can rename it, select the file um, and go ahead and save it. Let's see how that looks. There you go. Here's our PDF drawing. All right, guys, so that's the basics about pages. If you want to learn more about canvases, views, please head to our documentation. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any more questions, you're welcome to book a demo with our team by using the link in the description. You can also join our community and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this. Have a good one.